Hey, welcome to the Morning Mix After Show. It's Chris, Nikki, Whip, and Violetta. Uh, we didn't get to this story today, and I don't know, Nikki, if you were going to talk about it in Soundcheck tomorrow, but country megastar Miranda Lambert, mm. I don't know if you guys saw this, she's on stage just recently, and she's in the middle of singing kind of a slower ballad, and she stops. Mm-hmm. And she's like, hey, I got to stop right now. I'm sorry, but these girls in the front are pissing me off. They're trying to take selfies. Put down your phones and just watch the concert. And so then a bunch of fans in the crowd actually just left because they were annoyed and offended by Miranda Lambert telling her fans to stop filming and to watch the show. Yeah. And I guess the question becomes, who, like, is there a right or a wrong in this situation? Well, and, and the selfie in question has been released as well. Okay. So you can see the picture of the group of women and, like, they have Miranda kind of perfectly positioned between the five of them. Right. I, I, I'd be lying if I'd say this is something we've all done at a show. Of course. I guess it's just a matter of timing. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess you you paid for the ticket to be there. Obviously, you're a fan, and you're close enough where you have the opportunity to get a photo where it's like our photo with this star we love. Now, as a concert goer, often sometimes like the phones around you can be very annoying and distracting if you're trying to enjoy a concert and everybody's got their phone up and you're like trying to see it. So I get that point in view, but... I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think the interesting part is how uh, an artist on stage really is can see so much that's right. happening in, in the audience. Because I think me, as I'm watching the concert, I kind of think they're in their own world, in their own zone. And I think time and time again, we see that's not the case. Taylor Swift stopping concerts to you know yell at a security guard. like She is watching what's happening so intently while dancing and singing and in front of 60,000-ish people. Right. Like, it obviously affects them and you have to almost look past it. But in that point, I mean, it was a slow ballad. They were probably like second row ish. Like they were right there. And they were yeah. using flash. That was yeah. the other thing oh, people were saying. So right. because they were trying to get the perfect image of them, right. they were using flash, which my guess, we've all taken selfies. You probably did it two or three times. They were mm-hmm. probably like, nope. Yeah. Another one, another right, one. Right, right. Again, so maybe again. by the third yeah. or fourth, she got annoyed how small was the venue it was an intimate venue is what it's described of yeah i mean because like um i feel like it would be different if it's a major uh, arena or stadium like a festival but yeah. like you're playing some kind of quietish song in a small place if it's enough to distract if the artist is just being like a pill like hey stop it whatever then like screw right. you i paid my money but if you're like you're distract doing enough to distract the performer right i feel like the performers uh within her i i don't want to say rights but i mean i i feel like the performer has a point to say, like, you're distracting me from doing my show by right. yeah. whatever you're doing. Yeah, it's interesting because, like, V was saying, how, like, the performer's noticing this kind of thing. But when you're doing a show like this on a tour and you're on your 30th performance, like, it's just autopilot. Like, you're, you can be singing a song and in your head thinking about what am I going to have for dinner after the show. I'm just Nikki showing you the showing selfie. The, we could probably add it to the story if you want. So yeah. that's the actual selfie of the women. And I guess, I mean, it, I back. guess it's like second row. It's, it's like anything. It looks farther oh, away. It does. Yeah. It, it looks look farther like away. Where I saw, her, like, I saw the video of her, like, yelling at them yeah. or being, like, put that phone down. And it looked like she was looking down at them, like, right, right in front right of the near stage. The front. This is saying these are the two pictures we were taking when Miranda Lambert stopped her concert and told us to sit down and not take selfies. Wow. Here's yeah, what I would I say, like, there's a better way to handle, like, it seems so. First of all, she probably just reacted because we're all human, and yeah, you're right, annoyed, right, and you're like, right. "Hey, I'm trying to sing my damn song, whatever." <laughs> but maybe the better way would have been like, "Okay, listen, I know what y'all are trying to do. I appreciate it. Why don't we just do this? Why don't we just stop the show for one second? I'll stand here and smile, yeah. everybody, yeah. 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 and then we're gonna get on with the show." <laughs> so right? That's I, what yeah. if in I yeah. know it's in the moment, don't right. have time to plan it. That would have been a, a fantastic moment. Right. right. I saw Aziz Ansari live once at Chicago Theater, and he came out and he was like. Hey guys, you know, he was kind of talking to the crowd. He's like, I haven't started my show yet. So here's the deal. You all want to take photos. So I'm going to stand in five different poses, take as many photos as you want. Here we go. And he literally like yeah. posed mm-hmm. and then he kind of pointed and it was funny. But yeah. now he was like, great. Now you all have the photo of me. I'm not changing. This isn't going to change. You could take a thousand photos. It's the same photo. You have it. Let's all put our phones down and just watch the That's show. That's almost interesting. Like so, it, yeah. almost every event started like just that. Did like that. Cause yeah. you only need your one picture to say, Hey, I was here I or was whatever. Here. Right. Um, but do you guys ever stand? If you're close to a stage during a performance, I avoid like eye contact too. Sometimes like if it's like an emotional, like I don't want to stare directly at them. Cause I'm like, I don't want you to like think about what I'm, 
thinking or feeling. Like I just kind of want them to do their thing. And I'm like, I'm like really emotional. I'm like, I love where your headspace is at, but I don't want to get in the way of your performance. Like I get nervous. I don't like being in the front row at all. I hate it. I would prefer to be further back where I can just sort of enjoy it in my own way. And like, if you know, like my fear is I'll yawn or something and they'll (laughs) see me Mm -hmm. yawning and it's like, I'm just tired. I love this. I'm just tired. You know, even if it's a really famous person, like at a radio station once in a while, we don't have it that often, but sometimes people will come in and they'll play like to a very small group in a small room and it's awkward. I don't care if it's pink or whoever it is. It's right. just awkward. It I'm sure for, for the performer, it's probably awkward too. But just as the audience member, it's weird. And then we all have to cheer and clap and there's yeah. like six of us. And I'll do the opposite. I'll stare so intently yes. because I feel right. like they need, they need you they to want support. to make sure someone is yep. watching them like every minute. And right. so it's probably- I'll look yeah. at them, but I, do, I avoid direct eye contact. Because oh, then yeah. I feel like they're going to stop and like, Talk to me. Like if someone, if I make contact, like eye contact yeah. directly with someone, I assume that we're going to like start talking soon. They also depends on the performer because we've had some that just look down the whole time. And yeah. Won't yeah. Look up They're probably and, not comfortable either. Right. right. They don't want to do it. So uh, somehow I found a way to bring Sting into every conversation. <laughs> Love this. Let's go. Let's <laughs> keep it going. This reminded me. Though, no, I, I remember like when I was a teenager, I saw Sting. All right. And I do remember him saying something on stage, which even then kind of annoyed me because I don't know how much money I paid for that ticket, but whatever it was, it was expensive for me at right, the time. Right, of course. And whatever he was doing on stage, he's kind of like, well, you're going to have to work for this show tonight. You're going to have to earn it. Whatever he was saying, and I was kind of like, no, no, you work. Uh, I pay money. I'm customer. Yeah, you right. know what I mean? So I kind of err on the side of customer is always right with the caveat that if you're actually distracting the performer or other fans, that is not within. Right. Other, other than that, I feel like you can kind of like do what you want as long as you're not bothering people. Right, like and how uh, offended could she have been? Well, I'll give Miranda the, uh, Lambert the grace of, I don't know what happened the yeah. moment before. I don't know what's going on in your right, life. Right. Maybe backstage you got in a big argument with somebody and you came on stage and you're just annoyed and you see that. But then I'll also be like, as a performer, I think like part of your job is to try your best to set that aside and put on the best possible show. But I could see it be distracting, or maybe we don't know. Did the venue say, hey, guys, small venue, no photos, please, no videos, turn off your flash? I mean, if you go to see a play or a musical, they tell you, no flash photography. It's distracting to the performers and to the people around you. And I always try to turn my flash off even at a concert if I'm trying to take a photo because it is annoying, Mm -hmm. you know? And there Mm -hmm. are those artists that you hear. I think think it's Billy Joel who's always kept like the first two rows. He is the one. Because he doesn't want people who have like uh, been... Won the won those seats in an auction or, or have rich friends. He, want, he doesn't want like he rich doesn't guys. Want corporate he wants right. he, goes right. and, he goes and supposedly picks right. them out of the uh, upper deck and brings them down to the right. front row. Right. So I mean, or and again, we don't know. Like to your point, we don't know what this event was for. Right. Exactly. You know, if it was like in a private event or something, and like right. she's like, "Who? Okay, these guys aren't even fans." Yeah. You know, because I I mean, again, going back to just our experience here, I remember Lizzo when she came to Mexico with us. Yeah. She even said after she was like. I didn't know if you guys were there for Mexico or if you were there for me. And, right. And she was actually nervous about performing. You know what I mean? And you think about, it's Lizzo. Like, yeah, how what are, are you, you talking nervous? about? Right. And then when she got out there and saw everybody was there for her, it completely changed her vibe on how the whole the whole day went. Yeah. You know? It's Could crazy. be similar. Well, there you have it. I don't know. Go check out the video for yourself and judge uh, in the way you want to, I suppose, on what you think about it. But that's Miranda Lambert. Uh, don't take a selfie there. All right. <laughs> Listen to The Morning Mix weekdays from 5.30 to 10 on 101.9 The Mix, and we will see you tomorrow right here on The Mix.